Mastermind. What's up? What's up, everybody? We're back. We're back. I promise it will not cut off this time. If it does, I'm taking my computer apart and taking every part back to the store where I got it from and telling them to get me another one. All right. So as I said I was going to do, this will be a very short review and how to, um, in my experience, there may be other ways to make this work, but this is how it worked for me. I can't speak for anybody else. I don't know anything about the company that makes this device. Um, what I'm the dab tabs that I'm gonna be using are the ones that were Calex Peak before it was took over by Clutch. Um, so I don't know if they're any different from the dab tabs that Clutch is putting out right now. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right into what I figured out. So here is a dab tab go. And it's simply just a little uh, device. You basically take this top part off here and you put the dab tab in there. And the way it's advertised on the packaging, it should work with a uh, battery with a button on it. But uh, I have a couple different batteries with buttons on it and I could not get it to work. So what I had to do was I had to use uh, another battery that I got from one of these batteries that come with one of these pins that we get in a program. So it is one of ours, as they would say. Um, and I just screw this on, just like a not in, just like a regular 510 cart. Kind of, it's kind of slick looking, actually. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, this is all 100%. Uh, state i bought this this dab tab go device from a ohio medical merit cannabis dispensary so i purchased it and uh yeah actually i actually got it from strawberry field that's where i got it from so yeah i purchased this this should be authorized by the program um so anyway so i've got some ice cream cake dab tabs here and uh, what we have to do with, since this is an automatic hitter, this thing you just tug it and it hits, uh, we have to kind of like, once you get the dab tab in there, you gotta do a little primer, kind of get it going. Now, once you get it going, it's like, it's going, it's going. And so it fits in there just like that. And we're going to burn the whole dab tab up because I want you guys to see what happens. So this is one that's already been used. For comparison. This one has not been used. See, it's a little bit lighter. I know it might be a little bit blurrier. But... You get the difference. If I put them side by side, you can clearly see the difference. So, a lot of things, you know, people say they go to go away too quick. So, I've got this in here; it's ready to go. So, I'm just going to start puffing on it like I would like a cigarette, honestly. Now it's activated. I'm getting flavors, I'm getting terpenes. And I mean, to be honest with you guys, the ice cream cake dab tab, it tastes just like the ice cream cake flour. And 
And, you know, the only thing I would say in doing it with this, you're probably going to run the battery down after a couple of uses. But you can recharge these. I mean, the longer I drag on it, the more I hit on it, the more vapor I get. But then I don't want to get too much at once because then it starts coughing and choking. And this thing does get hot. And this, the way they've got it, it seems to me like there's some airflow in between these notches. And, uh, you know, doing it like this, I mean, it's not going to get burned up real, real fast. Um, now, another way you could use it, and I've done this before, is with the packs. And I'm looking around for my packs. I don't see it right here near me. But um, the only thing I like about doing it with the packs is... I gotta wait for the packs to start putting heat, enough heat to it to get it loose. With this, I can just hit it, you know, a couple good times. And once it's going, it's going, it's cooking. And you'll know, you'll know when it's done, because then won't nothing come out. I know some people feel like they like to get a lot of good vapor with it when they get something. Some people really are particular about their airflow. Cost wise, these are like under twenty dollars. I'm sure there might be places to get them online or whatever, but like I said, I did get mine from a dispensary. I encountered one of these devices before in my travels and I tried to use it and I couldn't get it to work very well and <laughs> I can't figure out what happened to it but I swear it was exactly the same thing but uh, I seen people saying they can put it on a, a battery with a button and uh, you know if you got any recommendations on what batteries work with this other than what I'm showing you here uh, won't you go ahead and leave that in the comments for me because I am looking for another battery so I could do another review with it with a different battery so if you do happen to have one of these two and you've got it working with a regular battery, I would love to know what kind of battery you're using so I can get mine going the way I want to. Because I mean, this works, but uh, to me, it's not a permanent solution. I, I think that, you know, it uh, needs to be reworked a little bit. I think part of the problem why it has a problem with certain batteries is this little gold piece on the thread there. I think for whatever reason, that little gold piece in there kind of interferes with the contacts. I don't know why. I mean, I like the way it's designed. I got a vision spinner, Kay. I got one of those, my brother. It's good to see you. I, I got a vision spinner, man. I got a vision spinner number two, and it won't work. I did exactly what you said before. <laughs> Oh, it is so good to see you here because you, you know about the, you have one of these things I believe I could not get it to work but I've been hitting it with this guy and and I was able to complete the mission <laughs> so which version of the video spin are you talking about Mr. K Yeah, you know, I noticed something now. And I'm looking at my screen here. Yeah, really, man. You know, I don't know where it is right now. Usually I have it right here on my desk. I will show you. It don't work. What Actually, what it does, I tell you, when I put it on the spinner, the light blinks. And when I put it on some of the other pins that I have, the light just blinks. When I put it on this guy, it just works. I don't know why. And this is a brand new one. I mean, I just bought this like last week and uh, it, it, it doesn't work on anything else. I've got a couple of little, these little inexpensive batteries and, and they work for a little while, but then you got to charge them up.
I remember I couldn't find the visions for a long time, man. Then I started to find them again, and then I had a two and a three, and I, I love my two. It's like battery of the battery of the universe. That battery lasts forever. I didn't. I don't have a Calex, but I haven't tried the Calex Peak or Clutch uh, carts yet. Uh, I need to. I just think the price is still kind of a little bit up there. It's not, it's not where it wants to, it should be. I mean, especially put it with their the amount of oil that they're putting in there, could be a little bit less. Yeah, but I can definitely feel the effects. Let me see what the what the what the uh, thing's looking like now. It definitely ain't done, man. It still got a long way to go. But I am telling you, I can feel the effects. I mean, we still got a little bit of life on it. Yeah, it's not looking like that guy. <laughs> That's toasty. See, we, can we get him toasty? I think we can get him toasty. Something else I did too was, you know, I had to hook up my bong to it. it took too long. Yeah, now it ain't getting hot enough, I guess. It was working. Maybe the battery is low. But see, this is why I know one thing about that pack. It's going to stay hotter and hotter and hotter. It's going to keep stay putting heat to it. Where something like this, you know, you got you got to do you got to do all the work because you got to pull the air on it. So I want something I can just turn on and go. <laughs> I don't even want to have to press the button. So my opinion, this thing still ain't for me. It just ain't. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. You got my honest on camera reaction. I don't recommend you buy one of these guys unless you have tried it. Somebody else has tested it with some. I don't even want to say that because it's COVID, but I'm just saying it. These guys ain't that reliable to me, man. I, I just, as far as the the dab tabs are fine. I, I like the dab tabs, but I, I'm just not that happy with these little gizmos here. I think it should be better. Um, they could do better, and you know. I shouldn't even have to use a little rinky dink battery like this. It's kind of terrible. But uh, maybe Dab Tab Go will see this video and say, hmm. Because I really would like to see it with the experience with the button to be like. But I just don't want to waste any more money on another battery. I mean, I feel like I'm surrounded by batteries. So it's getting a little crazy with all these batteries, guys. So anyway, like I said, I'm glad you guys got to catch me here on my uh, live review here. Nah, I don't have any Novas, man. Nah, I'm not, haven't tried any of those yet. I really try to just stay away from buying a whole bunch of extra vape gizmos because the technology changes so quickly and, you know, everything is going super digital and remote, Bluetooth. You know GPS in it and everything else so I'm just trying not to waste too much money on them things till they really like figure out what the best of the best because I mean all these stuff I've been seeing so far is just good as far as stuff like this and, but it ain't it ain't the best yet I got a lot I got some more work to do on these um, dab tabs though I mean I like these because I could use one a day. I don't need to keep hitting hit them all day. I mean, I think one is good for me for the whole day. Whether I use it all up at one time or if I burn a little and then burn a little, burn a little, then burn I mean, vape a little is what I mean to say. Um, I think that they're all right. I mean, do I use one of these every day? Nah, I don't think so. Um, so, you know, something to think about if you decide you want to try out the dab tabs is just make sure you have some you know a good way of doing them most people 
um, might use a, a bong with a, a rig and everything and put some heat to it with the torch and do a dab. You certainly, you know, that is an option. I just, I just don't do that anymore. I just think it's just, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm still not sure I'm ready for the e nail either, man. I feel like that's an electrical thing waiting, an electrical fire waiting to happen. So, I'm, I mean, I like the concept of the e nail and I see they got some that run on batteries, uh, but I don't know if they're really getting that hot on battery power on, on like, you know, 14 volts or something. So, it is what it is. All right, well, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Thank <music> you.